volume of a first tram. The figure below represents a basin whose top diameter is 56 centimeters, bottom diameter is 50 is 35 centimeters, and the depth is uh, 15 centimeters. So we are working out the volume of a first tram, and in this case, we need to extend uh, the bottom part. This part we need to extend it like this, and then join with this other side. We extend this side like this. So in this case, we have uh, the bottom. Uh, we have the bottom radius and um, the top radius. In this case, the radius here is twenty-eight uh, centimeters, and uh, down here it is seventeen point five centimeters. The depth. The depth is fifteen uh, centimeters. We do not have this other height for the cone for this smaller cone down here so we are going to apply the formula uh, that says for us to get uh, the bigger for us to get uh, the bigger uh, for us to get the bigger height uh, we'll be able to say that it is in fact um, uh, the 15 uh, for us to get the bigger height we are going to uh, use this formula and say that we first of all take the depth that we've been given, the depth for the basin, plus the smaller height, the smaller height that we do not have, the smaller height. Then we divide by the smaller height, divide by the smaller height is equals to um, the bigger radius over the smaller radius. The bigger radius is uh, 28, the smaller one is 17.5. So in this case, we are going to have 15 plus H or over h is equals to uh, the bigger radius 28 or over 17.5 you cross multiply this one is going to give you 262.5 plus 17.5 h is equals to uh, 28 h is equals to 28 h we put like terms together we will have 262.5 is equals to um, 28 h minus 17.5 h so this side will give us 10.5 h is equals to 262.5 we divide both sides by 10.5 uh, by 10.5 so the smaller h is going to be uh, uh, the smaller h is going to be 25 the smaller h is 25 so this h is in fact uh, 25 this h is 25 this one the one inside here it is 25 25 this one is 25 what about the bigger h now the bigger h for us to uh, work for us to find the bigger h the bigger h is in fact the height of the depth of the basin plus uh, the uh, height of um, the smaller cone which is going to give us 40 centimeters now that we have this information we have the bigger height the smaller height we have got um, uh, the bigger radius and uh, the uh, smaller radius now in this case we have to apply the formula that says volume is equal to a third pi r squared h you take away a third a pi r squared h we substitute so we are going to have a third times 22 over 7 times the bigger radius 28 squared uh, times the bigger height which is 40 the bigger height is 40 and then you take away a third uh, times 22 you take away a third times 22 over 7 times 17.5 uh, squared times 25 if you put this into your calculator it is going to give you the first one the first part is going to give you 32,853.33 uh, then the other one will give you 8,000 it is going to give you 8,020.83 if you take away you uh, do subtraction here you're going to get 24,832.5 uh, cubic centimeters because volume but in this case, we have been told to give our answer in liters. So we know that a thousand 
uh, cubic centimeters will give us one liter. What about uh, 24,832.5 uh, cubic centimeters? This one will give us 24.83 liters. 24.83 liters. Now let us proceed to the second part. The second part says that calculate the height of a cylindrical container whose base radius is that one centimeters. Let us have the cylinder, the cylinder, and then we've been told that uh, the, ra the, the, the radius is uh, 31.5 centimeters. So let us have the radius and say that uh, this radius here, it is 31.5 centimeters. Again, uh, we do not have the height. We do not have the height. We do not have the height. Calculate the height of a cylindrical container whose base radius is at 1.5 that can be exactly filled by twice the volume of the water from the basin above. above. We have the volume. The volume uh, was 24,832.5 uh, cubic centimeters. This is the volume. But now they are saying this volume will be, will fill the cylinder uh, uh, if you if you double the volume. That is when the cylinder will be filled. So we are supposed to work out um, the height of the cylinder. So we are going to say uh, uh, the volume times two um, is equals to uh, the, uh, the, the 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 formula for working out the volume of a cylinder is uh, pi r squared h. So 2 times 24,832 uh, is equal to 22 over 7 times the radius that 1.5 uh, squared times the height that we do not have. This one will give you 49,665 is equal to 31, uh, 3,118.5 h. 